Welcome children to our first video of the year for children's liturgy. Let's start by listening to the Gospel. Jesus and his mother, along with his disciples, were invited to a wedding in a town called Cana. There was food to eat and wine to drink, and the celebrations carried on throughout the evening. Then, Mary came to Jesus and said, Son, there is no more wine for the guests to drink. Why do you ask for help when my time has not yet come? Jesus asked. But Mary turned to the servants and said to them, Do whatever Jesus tells you. Nearby stood six very large water jars, and Jesus told the servants to fill them with water. Now, Pour some out and take it to the head waiter, he said. The water had been changed to wine. After tasting it, the head waiter went to the bridegroom and said, Sir, you have certainly saved the very best wine until last. The celebration carried on, and there was plenty of wine for everyone. Those who knew what Jesus had done were filled with wonder by the sign of his power. How many of you have been to a wedding party? Were there a lot of food and drink? A wedding is a very important celebration. The host would prepare a feast for his guests. The feast would include a lot of food and very often wine. Many of you may not have tasted wine before. It is a drink with alcohol expensive and enjoyed by many adults. Imagine how the host would feel if the wine runs out at this very important celebration and many guests have no more wine to drink. Imagine yourself hosting a birthday party and not having enough food and drinks for the guests. And to top it off, the birthday cake had not arrived. You would be very embarrassed, wouldn't you? During the time of Jesus, a Jewish wedding was a public event open to guests for several days. It was the host's responsibility to ensure there was enough food and drink for all the guests. How well the feast went reflected on the honour and social status of the host. If the wedding went very well, the host would be very well regarded. If the wedding went badly, it would be shameful and it would reflect badly on the host and his family. To run out of wine, therefore, would have meant grave humiliation for the host. It would be a disaster. Mary was the first to notice the impending disaster. She was prompted by her merciful heart to help the host. She turned to Jesus for help. She did not know what Jesus could do, but she trusted completely that Jesus could do something to save the day and the family from disaster. What did Jesus do? He turned water into wine. Do you know how wine is made? First, you harvest the grapes from the vineyard. Then you crush the grapes. Next, you let the crushed grapes ferment, which is a process where the sugar in the grapes turn into alcohol. This can take anything from hours to days. Then you filter the wine and age the wine in barrels. This aging process takes months. The longer you age, the better the wine tastes. Wine making takes months or even years. How long did Jesus take to change water to wine? Instantly! How did he do that? No human being could ever change water into wine instantly. Did Jesus do magic? No, Jesus performed a miracle. A miracle is something that cannot be explained by normal means, but happens through the intervention from God. This was the first miracle Jesus performed. Other miracles by Jesus include raising Lazarus from the dead, curing the blind, and feeding 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish. Mary knew Jesus came to earth to be with us for a very big reason. It was not clear to Mary what that reason was, 
but she had faith that Jesus could do something to solve the problem. She did not know what Jesus would do, but her faith was so strong that she told the servants to do what Jesus told them to do. She trusted in God completely. Jesus loved the host and he obeyed his mother. He loves all of us. That was why he told the servants to bring six large pots filled with water and he changed them to wine. And it was not any ordinary wine. It was six large pots of the best wine. Turning water to wine at the wedding in Cana was the first miracle Jesus performed. When the disciples saw this miracle, they began to see how amazing Jesus was. What can we learn from this first miracle? Firstly, Jesus loves us and wants the best for us. We should trust in Jesus, pray to Him, do what He says and miracles can happen. When we have a problem, we can turn to Jesus to ask for help. We can bring all our worries and cares to Jesus and trust Him to help us. He may not give us what we hope for or within the time frame we want it, but we can always trust Jesus to do the best thing. He didn't just make wine, He made the best wine. Jesus knows best, and He knows best what we need. Secondly, Mary acted out of kindness and concern and showed complete trust in the goodness of Jesus. Like Mary, we should be kind and caring to others. Like Mary, we should have faith in Jesus and be always ready to turn to Jesus in times of difficulty. Mary is the mother of Jesus. She intercedes for us. She helps us. That is the reason why when we pray, we can ask Mary to pray for us for all our needs. Let's practice our faith now. You may pause this video and pray to Jesus for what you need help with. Trust that he will help you. Once you have done so, you can continue to play this video. Let's end our prayer by asking Mary to help us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.